Today we are joined by Tony Pascal, who is the Education Coordinator for the Oklahoma Forestry Services. And Tony, you've got a new tree trunk you're going to show us, and not the traditional tree trunk we're thinking of. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited. We are created some curricular materials for teachers and for program specialists to bring out for kids. Um, this is about dendrochronology. So what is dendrochronology, first of all? <laughs> uh, so dendrochronology is basically the study of uh, time. Dendro means tree, chrono means time. So it's the study of trees through time. Oh, okay. So trees do tell a story, huh? Yeah, exactly. We can learn a lot from uh, kind of looking at the tree rings. We can see like, oh, this is a really big, uh, wet, you know, cool year. So that's a year that maybe the tree grew a lot more. This is a drought. This is a year that there's not very many, uh, much space between the tree rings. So that's the particular topic on this tree trunk, right? Mm -hmm. Tell exactly. us a little bit about what this trunk includes. Um, so this trunk is uh, built for third through eighth grade and so there's uh, science and math uh, student materials for, for you to take into your classroom and print. Um, so you can actually like, we have worksheets and PowerPoints uh, that teachers will have access to as soon as they uh, check this out. So somebody who might not know anything about trees, you've got it all here to walk them through this process of learning about dendrochronology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's uh, actually aligned to state standards for uh, math and science for your teachers. Okay, excellent. So what's so special about these, what are they called, tree cookies? Yeah. What's so special about this particular tree cookie? So that's what this makes this trunk so exciting these tree cookies were cut down at a mesonet site so that's where the weather data was collected um, and we cut these trees down right next to the data collecting site so we actually know uh, how wet it was where these trees were growing and all that's in there so students are actually going to graph uh, the rainfall each year that this tree was alive and like compare like uh, weather data in the tree's life. Okay, so basically some of the larger rings might mean that it's a more wet season for that growth and stuff. Is that what you're going to extract out of this? Yeah, exactly. In 2007, which is the wettest year of this tree's life and uh, where it was cut down, it was, the, you'll see like the, the biggest ring during that year. Oh, fantastic. That's exciting. And so obviously you've done a lot of work getting these uh, aligned with state standards. So some of the subject matter that it covers is science, math, is that correct? Yeah, so for like math, you're gonna be graphing, you're gonna be like looking at data and like collecting it and analyzing it. Um, and for science, you're gonna be actually like learning about the parts of the tree on the inside, the heartwood, the cambrium, the xylem, the phloem, okay. the bark. So who all can have access to these tree trunks? Uh, this is for any educator. Um, so if you uh, want to check one of these out, you'll actually go to our uh, website or you can go to our bit.ly that will have linked and you can actually like check these out. Um, we, you can get them from any one of our five uh, area locations. All right. Well, thank you so much. And we look forward to it. Are you going to have more of these different subject matters coming out as well? Yeah, this is actually just our first trunk. There will be several coming out over the next few months. All right. We'll look forward to those. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.